it's really tough because I did my master's in modern art, so it has a very special place in my heart. Um, but at Pam, we work more with contemporary. Still gonna go with modern though, because I'm a nerd at heart. I think the best advice that I've ever gotten about how to experience art and how to try and interpret it for yourself if let's say you don't have a background in art history um, is to try and create a dialogue between the works that are in the space, the works that are in the room. So read the label if you want, but take your time in front of the work. Um, figure out what it is that you like about it, what is it that speaks to you about it, and then try and form that dialogue with the other pieces in the space and just see um, how they relate to each other and kind of take it from there. Um, there's, there shouldn't ever be any pressure. I know that contemporary art can be really intimidating to people, but if you just take the time for yourself to, you know, look at the work and then relate it to what's around, you'll probably come up with your own personal inter interpretation that you're really happy with. There are many ways to volunteer in different museums. Sometimes you'd be helping work an event or um, just helping visitors when they come to the museum, uh, showing them around or uh, letting them know where the galleries are or how to get around. Um, and of course, when you when you are a volunteer, you have the, the privilege of getting to walk around the space for yourself and experience the art for yourself. So um, if you are a volunteer, uh, you shouldn't just do your job. You should also make sure you stay and, and enjoy it the way that any other visitor would. That is so hard. That's such a hard question. I think, so the special thing about a book is that once the book arrives, it stays forever, right? It's something you can always hold in your hand. It's this tangible thing. It's like proof of all the work that you put into it. An exhibition is, is, is fleeting, right? And so after it closes, what's left are the installation shots. And if the works are part of your permanent collection, you'll, you'll see them again. But there's something really special about, you know, working on, on a book and it arriving in that full form and, and, and uh, it's something that you couldn't really imagine even though you have plenty of, of PDFs and all of these things of the process. So I think I'm gonna go with catalog just because I can hold it in my arms forever. <laughs> Okay, fine. Art, books, gym. And I know I just I just pissed off all my gym friends, but the cover is is what we think will get you to be maybe interested in the book initially, but it, it's 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 not going to sum up the contents of the book. So uh, that rule applies. You know, don't don't judge a catalog by its cover because chances are it's one work on the cover and then everything inside is um, you know everything else that you were that you would experience in the show so definitely do not judge a catalog by its cover just admire it and then once you look through the book you'll probably figure out why we chose that cover <laughs> <laughs>